what's up everybody so like I said earlier today that uh, weekends were made for promoting the people that are actually keeping it real so what I decided to do is I'm gonna be creating a website it's going to be the keeping it real website uh, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put it yet course I am on a limited income so it will be one of those free websites um, gonna be having the keeping it real Hall of Shame as well as the keeping it real Hall of Fame and I'll be putting people in the proper categories so today we're gonna do the first inductee to the keeping it real Hall of Fame The first introductory, inter, yeah, introductory I have is someone who has been by my side throughout my career in broadcasting, and I don't mean figuratively be by my side. I mean they've had my back through from the beginning, and currently still have my back. Um, so let's just throw the name out there real quick. Mama, Pegasus Lover 65. Welcome to the Keeping It Real Hall of Fame. For everything you have done for the vaping community, you rightfully deserve to be the first person inducted into the Hall of Fame. Um, Mama's been in the vaping community for quite a while. Um, she's been with me since I started broadcasting on Vapors.TV. Um, I admire everything that Mama has done. Um, and something you guys got to know about Mama, she stays out of the drama. She doesn't want anything to do with the drama. If you see her speaking out against somebody or taking a stand on something, you can better believe it was really bad for her to actually come out and say something. I have seen her very few times log in under her name and speak up against something that's going on. It takes a lot to push this woman over that edge. Uh, some of the great things she's done for the community is she was one of the first ones on the old network that we had all belonged to that was doing the starter kit. It was very important for her to be able to offer starter kits to people who wanted to quit vaping but were not able to. Um, she has also promoted vaping advocacy, education, uh, part of the promoting vaping advocacy, she was part of the, uh, in her local area, a huge part and leader in the vaping advocacy there in her area. Uh, took the entire weight of that on her shoulders, and it pained me to see how much stress and undue burden that she had to go through throughout that period. Um, She has always been there to help anybody who has needed it. She has nothing but kind words to say for people. Uh, she's truly one of those people that if you can't say something nice about somebody, don't say nothing at all. Um, and if she does say something, it is well warranted. So when it came down to the time where I felt it necessary to take a leave from Kindred Vapors Network. It was rightfully so that I signed over anything that I had to do with Kindred Vapors to her to give her um, basically my baby. Um, Kindred Vapors meant a lot to me, still does. Uh, for me to step away from it was a huge thing for me to do. I felt very comfortable in 
whose hands I put it in. Uh, don't get me wrong, I did not own Kindred Vapors. I was just the asshole that made the email account and the Vapors.tv account. I had no claim to ownership. I was the founder. That was it. So, Mama, just wanted to let you know. Love you. Appreciate you. Respect the holy hell out of you. And there is not one person I would want in my corner more than it. More than you. Period. Um, I should have probably told you if you were in a Google Hangout or in a VC call watching this video, you might want to kill your camera. Grab a box of tissue. Because I know my mama. She's a very sensitive woman. And I am very proud to call you friend. And very proud to call you mama. With that, welcome to the first person to be inducted into the Keeping It Real Hall of Fame. Love ya. And by all means, keep keeping it real, mama.